Maybelle Blair, what a special guest we have. The first ever winner of the Amazing Mets Foundation Legacy Award. Maybelle, you were one of the first pro women's baseball players ever, part of the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League that was the inspiration for a league of their own. Um, today we spoke to you before the game. You have an incredible zest for life and a love for the game of baseball still at 96 years young. Where does that come from and why is it still around? Oh my gosh, it came from uh, my family. We were all uh, baseball fans. And uh, I used to play with the baseball. It was so old that we had it taped around it. And our bats, we were so poor, what we had to do is nail it together. And that was our bat. That's all I've ever known is baseball, Pete. And I love every minute of it until I die and get on the other side of the dirt. I'm, uh, I'm very happy to every time at the ballpark. You know, Maybell, when you were growing up, I'm sure there was no part of you that thought I could play professional baseball one day. So when that day actually came to fruition, when you put on that uniform for the first time and started to walk out onto that field, do you remember what was going through your mind? Oh my God, do I ever remember. I'll never forget it. I put that uniform on and I thought I was the cutest girl that God ever made. <laughs> and I looked at myself in the mirror about like 15 times to be sure it was me. And uh, I put on my spikes. And that was the happiest moment of my life, I think, because I started walking. And if you ever played baseball in War Spikes, you could hear that music, clickety-clack, clickety-clack. And I was walking out on the seabed, and I was heading out towards the ball field. And then I had to make the turn to go out the ballpark. And then I saw that beautiful green grass. And at that moment, I said, Mabel, you become a professional baseball player. And I think, oh my God, I thought I'd never make it. That was the happiest life, part of my life. So that movie, A League of Their Own, is one of the great baseball movies ever. Everybody loves that movie. Having played in that league, what did you think watching that for the first time? Oh my gosh, I was absolutely thrilled to death. In fact, I thought it was really wonderful. I thought they did a magnificent job. And uh, I still watch it to this day, and I still love the darn movie, even though I even was in it at the end. Of course, I look for myself, and I can't recognize myself anymore. <laughs> Is there a character in that movie that you relate to the most? Well, no, not really. Everybody calls me Madonna, but that wasn't it. But, <laughs> but, but uh, anyway, it was a lot of fun making it, and uh, it was so wonderful that we came up with the uh, new TV series. And we happened to have one of the writers here today at the ballpark with us. And uh, it was so wonderful that they brought this out. The progress that women have made in the sport of baseball and sports in general. And I know you're such a big advocate for women's sports all across the board still to this day. Where do you hope it continues to progress? What do you hope the next 20, 30 years looks like for, for women of the next generation? Well, the biggest hope I have is that we have a league of our own again uh, because we cannot compete with men in baseball. There's no way they can run faster, leap higher, and we won't ever make Major League Baseball, although we'd love to be able to, but not able. But uh, I do believe we should have another league of our own again, and I'm trying to build a facility in Rockford, Illinois, to have our own home. We don't need to be in the Men's Hall of Fame because we can't compete there either. But it's great to have it our, uh, our display there, which is needed, I do believe. But we should have our own Hall of Fame and everything else at, in Rockford where the Rockford Peaches played. Although I hated the Rockford Peaches. <laughs> <laughs> they thought they were the greatest, you know, although maybe they were, I don't know. But anyway, um, that's what I'm hoping that, that we will be able to, because women, if you'll look out here at this audience today, you'll see as many women as there is men. We love the game just as well as men, so we should be able to have a league of our own again. Couldn't agree with you more. Incredibly well said. The great Maybell Blair. And guys, I just want to end with one thing. She talked about the clickety-clack of the cleats. Just recently, she told us before the game, went into a Dick's Sporting Goods, got herself a pair of cleats just to experience it one more time. Maybell Blair, many more years to come. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you very much. And I'm going to live to be 110, so I'll have my own stadium. We look forward <laughs> to interviewing you then. Great. Thank you very much for having me.